Guys, how's it going? Phil Monteleone, The Book Peddler. If you haven't, I, I hope you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Book Peddler. Everything books, books related. I run a used bookstore, Smithville Flats, in case you don't know that. And I cover um, book buys and picks and in-store, out-store activity, business selling experiences, whole mess stuff. You old-timers have been with me for a while. Appreciate your guys' support. Appreciate everybody who's bought from me. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, you mean a lot. And you keep me going and keep me motivated to put out videos. So I enjoy making them. I have fun. Hope you continue to enjoy. So what did I do today? It's Sunday. I went to the Unadilla Gun Show and Flea Market. Um, a book dealer who pretty much inspired me when I walked into his shop about 15 years ago um, to even get into the book trade. Um called me up and he was going so i went with him and we had a really good time someday i'd like to interview him he doesn't really want to be on camera and i get it i get it but uh hopefully maybe someday and we had a real blast at the gun show i traditionally have always set up there and i've always done well um but it's a ton of work and it takes my shop about a week to get it back into order i got to bring all the cases everything it's a ton of work so i had fun enjoying the day it was a beautiful morning and i love the vendors there they're all they're all nice people and and really easy to work with and it's just wonderful i encourage anybody who's in upstate new york unadilla new york it's one time a year the rod and gun club put, puts it on and boy is it fun i was a little disappointed i didn't see uh new york's governor uh, kathy hokel there i really would have loved to have met that sweetheart she's probably sleeping upside down in her closet during the day but um anyhow she you know she's she's loves going against our gun rights here in new york state um, fortunately, Kathy, you, you're not the one who gave me my right self-preservation or any of us. So, uh, clam it. No one's listening to you. You're irrelevant. So, okay. Enough of that, right? <laughs> Dad says keeps politics out of, uh, out of business, but hey, a rat face is a rat face. All right. Stock car racing. Awesome niche set. Um, was really happy with this buy. This is internet. All the way, buy niche stuff, guys. There's a market for it. These ones will be listed. And, of course, anything you see on this table that I'm going through is for sale. Just reach out and contact me. So that's a great four-volume set there. All right, let's see what else. We got some uh, furs and skins. I got a lot of trapping material right there that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and this stuff does excellent in the shop brand new how can you beat it people love these stories mink mary and me by chick ferguson great title first edition very scarce to find a this isn't a first edition excuse me this is a reprint but if you ever find that in first edition it's worth big money but this sh this book is going to sell this is a great book um let's see what else we have here another story nine mile bridge three years in the main woods and now these books here I got off a guy. So plates and buckles of American military and then American military belt plates. Great, great reference books um, for people who are into this. And I'll tell you a little story in a minute. So there was these two books, this book, and this book. And I said, well, what do you want for them? He gave me an offer. I thought it was a little high. And, you know, I don't know... This I know this has value, but uh, I, I, you know, rebuttaled. And we came to an agreement on a price. So when I was done for the day, I was waiting on my buddy. I started looking up these books. I go, oh, you know, I did really good on these. So I went back and I said, hey, you know something? You did me good on these books. Uh, um, th these I'm going to do well on these. I'm going to pay you what you in initially said to me. And so, you know, I gave him my, he was very happy. And I think he was kind of caught off guard by it. But, you know, my whole thing is like, it's, it's good business. You know, these, these guys have my card. They, they'll be more likely and willing to deal with me again, because they know I'm up front and I'm fair. He's eating, I'm eating, the world goes round. You know what I'm saying? He even threw in a couple extra books for, for doing that, for coming back. So I really appreciate it. I don't expect any of these guys to be watching my YouTube video, but uh, nonetheless, it, you know, it's good It's good uh, business technique and practice. You know what I'm saying? It really is. It means a lot to people. Okay, the 45 Automatic, the AR-15 M16 Practical Guide. 
here's some uh, duck decoy books. Duck decoy books and carving are really good. I mean, I got a guy who will come in and buy them all. Um, Beginner's Guide to Conceal Carry, U.S. Rifle, Muzzle Loading, Varmint Small Game Cartridges, Rifles, and Cartridge for Long Game. Sold this book a million times. Scoop that one up. The Axe Book, The Lore and Science of the Woodcutter. Good stuff. Hand Loader Guides. Um, actually, like in my shop, actually in my shop, like Reloading and Gunsmithing is really good. Um, there's some nice titles for you right there. And let me get these trapping ones out. So there was a whole box of these. And I went through them and put them aside. Real sweet lady. And so I'll just go through these and talk uh, about them. I'll leave some stories. But, uh, um, you know, uh, trapping, not really my style. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no money in it anymore. Most people do it for a hobby to kind of just keep the populations down around here because they'll get out of control. Kind of brutal thing, but people collect traps. I sold a bear trap years ago for big money. Um, and, you know, the, uh, guys love looking through these. I'll, I'll probably put some lots together and sell some online. But a real nice lady. So, really really good good stuff here 99 uses for a dead skunk huh mail it to kathy hokel <laughs> professional beaver <laughs> wolf and coyote trapping fox trapping tons of fox brush wolf winter fox trapping methods All right, i'm gonna keep going through these guys I don't know how many of you out there are into trapping, but, and we're to the bottom. Okay. Now, another thing that came was this book. Okay. There's this guy, uh, Pete Rickard, who was from Cobleskill, New York, legendary trapper, and she had access to a lot of his material. So this binder was there. With all sorts of stuff. It's got Pete's catalogs. He died in two... Oh, shoot. All right. That's all right. Continue on. <laughs> There's Pete. Um, he died at 92 years old in 2005. This had some of his catalogs in it. I'm trying to get to them. Wrote a book. Come on. Where are they? We got places to be, people. All right. Here we go. Rickers Trapping Supplies. And, yeah, very well known um, through the area. So, here's, like, some of his sales receipts, you know, which is kind of neat. And uh, that's a great one. It's great imagery right there. Beautiful. So, um, basically what I said was, hey, you know, how much for the whole lot? And um, we came to an agreement. And I guess they have more books. And hopefully they give me a call, you know. And, uh We'll, we'll make it happen. So, yeah, really, really cool. This is great for the local area. You know, Cobalt Skills, about an hour and a half away. But All right, guys, so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the finds. Uh, this next Wednesday, I'll be in Oneana trying to close out on a large Civil War period book collection. Looks wonderful. I'm excited to get out there. And, um, yeah, and, and, and we'll take it for there. And, uh, Governor Hochul, if you're watching, I didn't mean anything I said. Please don't send those new irs agents to get me because you know my number one rule in business is uh the less the government knows the better <laughs> i'm messing with you guys but seriously please don't send any new agents <laughs> all right guys have a good day have a good sunday go to church keep your ears clean and, and read a book all right love you guys take care